Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare your system for a simulation in Gromax. And as an example, I'm using a box full of water molecules. So as you can see, we have a file named waterbox.pdb. If you don't know how to create that, in my previous video I have described how to use PacMol in order to create this file starting from a single water molecules PDB. So we need that file and we need a topology file named as topol.top and then we need a MDP file. In this case, this is the file that will minimize the energy of your system because you have randomly thrown the water molecules inside a box and now there could be some bad contacts which will be relaxed during this process. So let us start. And before doing so, uh, I'd like to mention that I'm using this Charm 36 force field, which is kept in this folder. If you go inside that, you can see there are several RTP, ITP, and all sorts of files that are required to provide the force field. And for this video, I am going to use this tip 3 p model of water. So for this, I have already included the force field file and the choice of force field for my water simulation. So this is tip 3 p will be taken from that directory. And this is the general uh, inclusion of the force field.itp file, which gives us the pair interaction and all sorts of uh, force field parameters. And in the end, we have the total number of water molecules. And inside the topology file, if a line starts with a semicolon, it is uh, uh, not included while the file is being read by Gromax. So with that being said, let's start the process. So first, we have to convert this waterbox.pdb, which looks like this. So there are oxygen, hydrogen atoms, and this is the uh, atom numbers, this is the molecule number, and these are the XYZ coordinate in Angstrom unit. And we can use the Gromax command editconf in order to convert the PDB file into a Gromax compatible dot grow file. So if I execute this command, you can see. So you can see it is not quite in the proper Gromax format because in this second column, which is empty here, the name of the molecule should be written, which is SOL. And also the tip 3 p force field does not recognize uh, water uh, atom names as OH and H. Instead, if you look into the tip 3 p file, which is inside this directory, you can see the names of the atoms are rather written as OW, HW1, and HW2. So we have to make some minor edits in the waterbox.grow in order to make it fully compatible with Chromax. And to do that, I'm going to use this script, which is a combination of awk and set commands and you can basically see that I am trying to edit some specific parts of the file and finally the output will be system.grow which is fully compatible with Chrome Apps. So let's run the script and there is the system.grow file which looks like this and as you can see everything is changed as desired Oxygens are named as OW and hydrogens are HW1, HW2, and this new column has been added. So with that, we are set to run the minimization on that system. And to do that, first we have to compile with GROM. So we have to write GMX MPI, GROM, and then the minimization file. And we have to include the topology file and with minus C we have to include the system file 
and there will be an executable called em.tpr. So if you do that, you can see there is something called em.tpr, which will be executed when you want to minimize the energy of your system. But before going there, I'd like to briefly introduce to the minim.mdp, which basically contains the method by which I'm going to minimize the energy of my system, which is steep as descent in this case, but there are other options uh, available in Gromax. You can explore this in the Gromax manual. And there is like some tolerances and some uh, mention about the, how many maximum steps uh, should the energy minimization use. After that, it will stop. And then there is periodic boundary condition included in all the three directions. And there are other parameters to uh, define the electrostatic and van der Waals uh, interactions. This file can also be downloaded from the Gromax website and Gromax tutorials. So now we have the em.tpr and in order to run it, we need to execute this command gmxmpi. In some machines, it's only gmx. In this cluster, it is gmxmpi, so I'm using that. And you have to write mdrun minus defnm em and if you wish, you can put this minus V flag, which means it will uh, tell you more about the ongoing simulation. V means verbose. So let's start this and let's see what happens next. So as you can see, after 316 steps, because it's a very small system containing only uh, 891 water molecules, within 361 steps, your system is energy minimized to the desired tolerance you have provided and after the energy minimization these are the outputs so this is the final configuration of your output em.grow and you can basically start your next step which should be equilibration and followed by the actual production run from this configuration and this looks similar to the system.grow but the coordinates will be altered because now it is in a energy minimized state in the next video, I'll show you how to do equilibration and production run after energy minimization. Thanks for watching the video.